Hey, this is Matt. Shane. This is Katie. And Zach. This is Houndmouth, and you're watching 1019 Kink Radio in the Skype Live studio. Thank you for this impromptu 2 o'clock in the afternoon Thursday kind of gig. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this, is, this is very cool, too. i got to give them big ups and props because <laughs> they're here in Portland for this. This and only this. Thank you, right? Thank you. And then you guys are up to Seattle and coming back on Saturday for yep. the Wonder Ballroom. Yep. So thank you so much for doing this. You guys are putting in some frequent flyer miles. We are, yeah. We need those points. <laughs> but you're probably not flying anyway, are you? Um, a little bit of flying, actually. Do you get a little bit of that? Yeah, we got stuck at the Louisville Airport before we flew into L.A. a couple days ago. Stuck in our hometown for nine hours. Didn't didn't go anywhere. And they lost, they Chicago lost the luggage. Down. Luggage and stuff. Yeah. Was it the stuck because of the luggage? Um, no, no, no. Because Chicago closed down. That was our connecting flight. And then they, they lost our luggage at our airport. We didn't leave. So we were there for like nine hours. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Well, there you go. There's your Spinal Tap rock star moment. Yeah, right. You get to talk about that. Which way is the stage? <laughs> <laughs> right, you get lost in the back. Well, you guys are definitely in high demand now, but let's first of all uh, introduce yourselves as to, uh, we know collaboratively, Houndmouth. I'm Zach. Zach. I'm Matt. Matt. Shane. I'm Katie. All right. So are these friends, are these friends or was it some big conglomerate that put you guys together to go up on stages at these festivals? We were, we were made in a lab. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know these guys. Some of these bands Who are. are. People? None of us have belly buttons. <laughs> So is it friends at New Albany? Are you guys? Yeah, the, yeah. There's a, like four high schools where in Southern Indiana where we're from, and we've gone to all of them separately. Just kind of, in the, you know, we're relatively the same age, so sure. grew up together and hanging out with other bands, and everybody just kind of knows each other, and then eventually you end up with this. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Actually, there's not a lot of bands in Southern Indiana, so it's it's more like we like we just needed to find other people to play music with, and and. This was yeah. it. This yeah. was the picket. This is what you got this stuck with, right? Yeah. Well, the we worst, get stuck. Yeah. The worst dream team of all time. <laughs> Touring the entire nation on that. You guys are, like I said earlier, you're in demand. This new album is fantastic. This was the second one, right? And was this just your second time at Bonnaroo, too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we played uh, t a couple years ago. Like a real small stage the first day of Bonnaroo, and to come back was really awesome. Just to get your name out, but now you're playing under that huge tent and you had thousands looking it at you. It was really cool, yeah. It was, oh man, it, it was sweaty and we were a little, little nervous. It's good to get nervous. It's because, sure. you know, you play a lot of shows and, and the nerves go away. So it was nice to go back to Bonnaroo and, and feel that again. So I don't know what it's like because I went to Bonnaroo a couple of years ago. Maybe it was like the year before you guys played for the first time. Um, and I, I just know that you're a part of the crowd. It's a great vibe there at Bonnaroo, but... You being the performers, do you get to like schmooze with all the other artists or do you become a part of the 80,000 of us that have to tent there too? Yeah, well, yeah, they kind of, they keep you pretty busy during the day, uh, but you're kind of back in an artist sort of area where there's, you see everybody at, at catering, you know, you can look over and like see sure. all your favorite. You got any new favorite. friends you guys have met in <laughs> other bands where you're going, these guys are awesome, like they're doing with you? Um, yeah, we always like run into J. Roddy in, in the business oh, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, we, gotta, yeah. We, we run into a lot of people. Over and over, it's great. Yeah, it was great to see my friends. morning jacket. Those guys are from our hometown, and they were at Bonnaroo. So. Yeah, we've had Patrick up here with his band Spanish Gold. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And uh, Jim Yames, he's been up here a couple times yeah. too. Good stuff, yeah. Jim. <clears throat> now I saw some pictures. You look, guys look great up on stage at Bonnaroo. But your Houndmouth sign, is that real neon? Oh uh, yeah. 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 yeah that's what I thought. Yeah. It looked like a real neon sign, not some fake little thing with some lights. No, the one at shit. Bonnaroo was a projection. Well, we still, oh, it we still hung our one. But we hung our tiny one, like, above it. Yeah. Oh, it's not that big. Like, <laughs> maybe, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put one of those things we used to try to make 19-inch TVs into a giant screen TV with this, yeah, this <laughs> magnifier in front. Well, I was just wondering, because I know some bands on the road, they can't keep their clothes clean. And how are you keeping a neon sign from breaking? <laughs> Very carefully. And we found it's probably easier to just ditch the sign and use the projection every time. But, yeah, it comes in this huge crate. It's bigger than any piece of gear we have. And, yeah. Taking up all our space in the trailer. <laughs> it's like as big as the stage, full of padding. Well, I'll tell you what. You guys just brought a different version of that Sedona tune to me. I mean, it, it, it rings out completely different when you do it like this. Your music really is effortless. It's, it's roots. It goes down to the thing. What's the collaborative writing process? Is it a Lennon-McCartney thing or just two of you, or do you all get in together with the music? 
Yeah, we all write. We all write separately and sometimes together, but not usually. I think we get the meat of the stuff done separately and then just bring the songs out. And then once it's out in the open, we all mold it and shape it. Cool. Yeah. Little hound mouth drum circle kind of thing? Yeah. yeah pretty much. Well, once again, they are doing this for us this afternoon, guys. They're going to be at The Wonder this Saturday. Once again, in the Skype Live studio, thank you so much. It's Houndmouth. Mm-hmm.